Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is uh, let's play on Counterline. So we're still selling bales of cotton. Uh, but I did change my my trailers to these ones. Link is in the description. These are auto load trailers. And since I have two of them and you can have a trailer hitch in the back there, it was a bit of a hassle to hook them up, but well, I got it eventually. Um and you can transport eight bales instead of four with a um, with a truck. So suddenly we transport eight bales, which would be like you see go for two hundred grand something, two hundred almost eight, two hundred and eighteen grand or so. And I have four of these trailers. Uh, so I have, I'm using my tractors because they're done with the plowing to transport these over to the cell point. So I don't know how to unload these. We'll see when we get there. I'm guessing it's probably like Y or something. It usually is. Look, Kenko, you op they open up. Um, then you just um, press B and drive by where you're going to load them up and uh, load up. I think you probably do this manually if you want to. Uh, if you wanted to spend the time on doing that or not, I don't know. I probably won't. I probably don't want to do it, but you could. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Um, what else? Oh, I would guess that's. Stop this one here. Let's see if I can go sell this. We buy the sell point, which is over here. Switch to first trailer, which is there. I think you could do it like this. Could be Y. No. Let's see, select uh, show gears, unload here. Y. Where, where is Y? Oh, okay. That was Y. So Y is the button you use to load. Oh, Hannes. What's that there? Eh, vadå för någonting? Jag håller på med en grej här nu. Så 109 plus 109, 218 thousand dollars. Pretty good. Bring it over ahead of that point where you have to, which I talked about yes last time, the, the point where you have to, everything so stuck, not stuck, but I think these look really good. They look very nice trailer, very nice trailer. Auto load, as were the other ones I had. Uh, which we hooked up to the truck, but these uh, load, <laughs> load a lot easier and faster. I know it's sort of cheating, but when you have those as many bales of cotton as I do, we tend to eventually be tired of loading them. And I've loaded quite a bunch of them manually with a reloader, so I'm thinking I could cheat without having too bad of a conscience. So send that on its way, and we'll have to do this stop driver. So it is sort of upset and then opens them like that. And we'll do the same with that one. One on the back there. And close that one and we'll send this on its way too. So 1.4 million. And we have a few bales left, so I'm gonna make some more money. As soon as the other one gets over to our farm. And show you how to load them up, which is pretty simple. Uh, actually, it's very simple. Ridiculously simple, if you're <laughs> asking me. Uh, this is a bit slower than using the truck, but in uh, at the same time you get twice the amount of bales per time. So, speed-wise, it's still a lot better than using the truck. 
which takes a lot more time and effort. Get past this little point here, this point I'm talking about. And then let it drive on its way on its own. So try. So I still have this truck and I bought one of those uh, Wilson trailers which can hold 60,000 liters because I'm gonna sell whatever I'm gonna sell I will probably need two of these trailers. So that's kind of cool. This is moving around. Why is that driving so fast? I'm sorry, why is it driving? <laughs> I mean, ridiculously fast. So, of course. Oh. I was driving so fast. So ridiculously weird fast too. Let's see, where's the first truck? Here, we're gonna, so we're gonna load this up with, uh, I should do this from the inside. Because it's so easy to load. Um, so very easy. Uh, just drive up, select the first trailer here. When they press B and it opens up and then it loads as soon as it's open up it loads them or load them onto you here. But you need to buy one for each thing. So you can buy one for square square cotton bales or one for round cotton bales. So these are for round cotton bales because I have a round baler. But uh, and then you can like, buy these for regular bales also with auto load function. If you wanted to buy you have to buy these sep those separately. I think these are just for round bales, you can't switch between the different kinds of bales. So B to open it up, uh, like so. And then you just drive by it and it will uh, load them, like so. And when it's full you just fold it and then you do the next one. Like so. And they have four bales. Pretty simple. Uh, actually, oh, actually I <laughs> forgot one on the front there. So I guess we'll open that one up and get, uh, grab another bale. So uh, I guess if you were to do another set of bale uh, cotton, you would just drive around the field collecting them like this instead of placing them here first. At least that's what I would do. We'll do this one too. It's a pretty cool bale trailer. Uh, definitely a very cool one. I like this. I think we'll do sugar beets on the next session because I want I haven't done that a lot, so I would like to try that out more. So B to open this up so we can load it. And then you just drive up by XTDs. Open up the other one. So, four of these. So, I'll have a, one more load or so. Well, maybe two. One and a half or so. And then we can uh, do the rest of the stuff we want to do. We'll plan the next session or season. Anyway, that was a short episode. I just want to show you these bale trailers and how they work and what we've done with it. So anyway, thank you for watching. I just have to stop saying anyway. I know that. Thank you for watching. I'm Andy. If you liked this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, share. If you will, or comment, if you like this channel, please subscribe. Have a good day, everyone. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.